But live over the phone is Graham Williamson. He's a councillor of the independent local residence group in Havering. Now, uh, Mr Williamson, what do you actually make of these tough proposals proposed by LinkedIn Council? And do you expect other councils to follow in their footsteps as well? Uh, yes, good afternoon. I can't say whether others will follow, but many councils will be observing uh, what is Islington are proposing to see whether there's any merit. Let's just walk back a moment and look at the bigger problem. We have a problem in London, uh, a growing population, a projected growing population, very little housing available. Certainly the targets that have been set are, are nowhere near being met. The second problem we have in London is house prices have become unaffordable. Even those that we call affordable, our, our people are calling them unaffordable affordable. Ordinary people in UK and in particularly London cannot afford these, these properties. So there's a whole shift in people uh, not being able to purchase properties, also going into flats, rented accommodation. And one of the problems we have uh, for those two issues, firstly, there's, uh, with the numbers of properties that are available, they're being bought up uh, by investors, uh, as you say, buy to leave. Many of them are foreign investors with no interest other than making money yes. uh, in the market. Secondly, um, the, these investors have led to, or partly led to, a boom in the house prices. And the vast majority of people that live in London suffer for, with those house so, prices. So given, uh, given the two points that you just mentioned yeah. there, the foreign investors who are deciding to increase uh, their purchases of, of houses in London, which is increasing the demand, which in return is, is increasing the prices. Do you think yeah. this proposal by Islington Council somehow uh, allows to bring about some sort of a solution maybe to that problem and, and to try and limit that slightly? It will, it will limit it, there's no question about it. If it's effective, of course because um, I've looked at the, uh, what they're proposing. Um, we have to see more in the detail. In theory, it is possible uh, for them to introduce uh, these um, well, 106 agreements, which include those conditions that you have to be resident or you have to have somebody resident in it. I don't think they're trying to ban buy-to-let, so that will probably still be available. Um, well, obviously, the, the concern is people who are just using it as an investment so they'll sell it in five or ten years' time, hoping that prices will go up. Uh, and undoubtedly, what they're doing is helping the price go up. So it's, it's an actual um, plan uh, investment. But I don't believe it's particularly helpful uh, for London, and certainly not helpful for Londoners. Um, and we really have a massive housing crisis. So what do you think... Just what do you Sorry. think the solution to that housing crisis is? We, as we heard in the package, some people said that we need to have the councils working on building more plans and building more property in the UK to increase that supply, to fulfil that demand. Well, there's two issues again. One is the number of properties and secondly is the prices. Yeah? So the first bit, the number of properties. Personally, I believe London is getting to a point of uh, overcrowding. Um, I believe next week... Um, we possibly will have reached the highest number of people living in London ever in our history. Because before the war, there were actually more people living in London and obviously living in slums. Uh, you know, obviously people moved out. Yeah. Uh, we're now getting to a point where we're, say, being our highest ever. So I believe that we need to consider uh, new towns um, you know, outside London. Uh, we can't just keep cramming everything in London. And, and I notice a lot of the inner London boroughs, like Islington, Tower Hamlets, have uh, been asked to provide more housing than anywhere else uh, when they're already uh, overcrowded. Yes. Yes. So I don't believe that is the answer building in London. It's got to be outside London or, of course, try to manage our population better. We can't just keep growing as we are. The second point in terms of house prices, that clearly has been uh, spiralling out of control and clearly as well foreign investors looking at the figures that have been presented, and we haven't got exact figures, but looking at the figures that are presented, we're talking about significant 50 to 70 percent of yes. new properties being uh, bought by investors. Mr. Graham, uh, will that really needs to be stopped. So Mr. Graham, you. thank you very much for joining us. I'm afraid I'm going to have to stop you there because we are short of time. Graham Williamson joining us over the phone from London.